morning. Welcome back to the D to the L to the L to the D. To the L to the D to the D to the L. Weekly. Yeah, yeah. This is part two, isn't it, Jack? Uh, yes. Part, part two part. Of, of the fencing uh, camper extraordinaire show. Yes, we picked the camper up. We did. Uh, we have, we will. Yeah, all those, all those All things. those. Uh, anyway, uh, winner, last week, uh, what profession did Chunky have prior to Dane's Low? We had lots of answers, a lot of correct answers. King of the road, uh, HGV driver, lorry driver. We had a few incorrect answers. Chippendale. Yeah. I mean, you'd be surprised Woman he was magnet. Chippendale. Uh, I mean, probably not inco- uh, incorrect in our answers, but not incorrect in life. Yeah, he is a, he is a magnet of all sorts. But uh, the winner was? Yeah, the winner was, do you remember what it was? Uh... Uh, Gaza. 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 B345. Uh, yeah, he said any key ring if lucky. You're lucky, mate. So yeah. you'll get any key ring. Gaza B345. You're a lucky boy. I just messaged you. You're lucky boy. Jack just sent address. me a little pingy ping ping. So uh, get back to us and we'll send you uh, a D to the L key ring. Yeah. Might even send you a special edition one because you were a lucky boy. If you weren't lucky, then feel free to head to the merch shop. We've yeah, got a merch, merch shop, shop now. <laughs> I mean, we only have, we haven't even got 3,000 subs yet. We've only been doing this, what, a year? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cut the likely lads. Uh, but, yeah, we, we, we thought, bugger it, you all keep asking for bits and bobs. So we've got key rings, we've got stickers, and we've got nan socks. So click the link in the description, I take you to a shop, and then me and Sam will do our best to post it to you and not get it stolen by the postal service. Yeah, I don't know how we're going to disguise stuff. Yeah, we'll have to... What we might do is send a homing pigeon. Yeah, or just send Chunky we'll around the country. Some, we'll get some Danes low pigeons. Yeah, oh, we, we should do chickens. that. We should do a, a special delivery option, which is like 100 quid, and that's Chunky to hand deliver it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we might do that. Yeah, charge you X amount to get one of the team, one of us, just to randomly pop up at your door and hand you your delivery. Yeah, I mean, we're getting living for our boots. I mean, who wants us to turn up at their door? But Yeah, I mean, I'll come for a bacon roll and a cup of tea. Yeah, that'll do. There's the postage costs. Uh, or we just get a, uh, a new push bike and send Connor. Yeah. Yeah, because those push bikes you may have seen previously are back on the scrappy because Connor couldn't be asked to sort them out. So yeah, uh, go and have a look at the shop. It's nothing special, but it, it, it's going to help us. It all helps the algorithm, you see, because the more you spend, the more we can buy. Isn't that right? <laughs> yeah, it helps our algorithm. Yeah, and then yeah, check the video out. And, and also, don't forget to like over here, subscribe up here, and then <laughs> share all down here. Show. Connor's just turned up. Look. Oh, mate. See? Connor's here. He's been a joy to be around over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I mean, some would say he's still a prick. But don't he's... forget to... Uh, sorry, I was to cut you off by talking on a prick. Uh, don't forget to answer this week's question as well, which was, how old is Connor? Yeah, how old is Connor? How old is him? If you need the answer, go back to previous videos. videos. <laughs> Isn't that right? I like this, Jack. Yeah. Chopping and chipping and chapping and chipping. Okay, then. Okay, cheer, pal. See you next time. Just loading up for today we are. Getting all the tools on the truck. Go on, go on 10 men. Oosh, oosh to the beam. Man. Yeah, just loading up for today. We've got fencing to do today. So we've got to go and pick up all the materials, concrete panels, concrete panels, never such a thing. Concrete posts, concrete gravel boards, uh, some nice, nice panels. Not the crappy ones you get, the nice panels. Drop this machine off on the way. Chunky's just got that ready. Uh, and some post creep. So yeah, it's all go, go, go. We've got a lot to do. So we're gonna film a bit of a step-by-step on how to do a fence, Danes Low Styly. But we'll let you know and show you when we get on site. Chunky, he's feeling a bit under the weather he is. We, he's feeling a bit under the weather he is. Aren't you Chunky, mate? Give him some love in the comments, guys. He's feeling a bit under the weather. 10 men is cold. Two degrees today. They reckon that summer is here, spring is here, but it doesn't feel like it. Although a cold morning means a hot day. So we'll see what is to come. So uh, you join us first thing today at MKM, picking up the uh, concrete work, concrete posts and panels over there for the concrete fencing job. Yes, so I'm gonna uh, lift some of these on. So that's concrete on, eight posts, eight gravel boards, 
Uh, you may say that actually you need one more post than you do grab a board, but that's because one bay's already got a post. Now we're on panels. Panels, panels, panels. So yeah, we were talking about the, the way the panels are lapped. These more of your feather edge type panel where your slats are horror, uh, vertical uh, rather than the ship lap, I think they're called, where they are horizontal. Yes, yes. So post -crete, concrete gravel boards, concrete posts, timber panels, uh, four by two for a gate slapper, three by three post for the actual post. And we've got a combination lock turn up at Screwfix today and we need a gate. We need a gate. Lovely free coffee, care of MKM. Yeah. I've got one too. <laughs> it's a nice bit of stuff actually. It's a nice latte. What you got? Gingerbread latte. Uh ponce mate. Sugar free syrup mate. Jack's uh Jack Connor is starting to class Jack as posh because he eats bulgur wheat. Uh, <laughs> and now and now he's drinking gingerbread lattes. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Anyone getting a phone call? So. I, I hate to think what that costs them to run that coffee machine. Because everyone I've seen this morning come out of there for coffee. Yeah, they're too right. Well, to be fair, we just spent 900 quid in there, so as well. No, no, but I mean, if we were to go down the same sort of route, yeah, you know, I don't think it'd be well, possible. Well, no, I think 900 quid and then you get free coffee. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna head to site now and put up a fence. Yep, yep. So, Andy, uh, Andy got here long before us because uh, we obviously have to go get the posts and see that quote. So I think he's been around here doing some more levelling. It's a bit warmer today, so he won't be freezing at his arse. Lovely stuff. So the, the frog the frog battle continues. We dug two of the first holes yesterday and they caught frogs. So we are just rescuing the frogs out of the hole. Poor little froggy. So have we had a walk? What bit of frog's legs? Cut the frog's legs in that mate. Yeah, lovely. Quite happy. He's happy enough, mate. Yeah. Well, so we're here guys. We're just getting, we're humping out post creek for each hole, gravel boards, posts, panels. Sam has put a string line up. You've gone back of post. String line back of post. Yeah, so Sam has put a string line up at the back of this post, the staying in, and the back of that timber post to give us the back line, the back line for our posts. And yeah, we'll start at this end. Step down as we go. Gravel board, panel, post, gravel panel, post. Post creep, jobs are good. When we get to that end, right, the last post in, and we fill the gap, and we're done. Levels, Lovely. Space. So that post, here he is, that post is now in. Post created, level, plumb, straight, square, bosh. As Six foot. The line, the line goes down the back of the post. It's pushed out now because old Numpty over there is moving it. But we have a straight line, which is the back of post every time. Yeah. Six foot gap between the two, which is the levels gap. So you lay the level, six foot level, in the gap, in the slot, that's your next post hole. Then you bosh in a post hole with our lovely auger and then rinse and repeat. Yes. Get the post in the hole, get the gravel board in, panel in, level it up, post creed it, done. We'll do this panel and give you a bit of a step-by-step, blow-by-blow account, and then we will uh, time-lapse. So, uh, yes, one thing you do come up against when you're replacing a fence is if our posts fall on the same place that the old post fell, hey Connor? The only way you can get around this is to stagger. So you put a half bay in, which we were planning on doing, but because we're going down the gradient, I like to work away from the gradient. 
not towards it. It makes the step in the panels easier. It's easier to step down than it is to step up. So we've got... Under the creek. That's obviously where the post went oh, in there, isn't it? We found a hole. There's a hole there. Right, so as you saw guys, we've gravel board in, panel in, leveled it up, slot the, slotted the post in, up against, leveled, post creep, done. Then we just rinse and repeat. Level to mark the post, dig a hole, gravel board, panel. Level, level, upright, post creep, move on. I think that called for a time lapse. Right guys, so Sam is having to nip off quickly with the nine tonners out on hire. And for some reason it decides to go on hire and then throw up a warning light. So he's gonna go and see if we can sort that out for the customer. Uh, me and Connor are gonna do this while he's gone, just because uh, I can't be asked to, to try and cut panels and stuff with Connor because it's a mission. Wait for Sam to get back. Uh, so yes, yeah, so this is obviously the entrance, entrance to the garden, back gate. So we're gonna, break out a hole here, three by three post, and then we're gonna put a bit four by two on the wall, hang the gate, combination lock, lovely. Job is a good one. So first things first is to get a hole just there. Yep, yep. Uh, so guys, just been to the nine tonner, which is in the field here, doing some ditching for the local farmer. Uh, problem with it not starting and, and um, Warning lights coming up on the dash, or I'm in this field, I'm going to be standing on the tram lines. Warning lights coming up on the dashboard. Um, so I've just been on the phone to Core Track over in Colchester, our friendly neighbourhood fitter called Darren, lovely old boy. Just been on the phone to him, and he seems to think that it's uh, the key, the key fob, the built in key. There it is, look lovely. Uh, the built-in key is not talking, lovely countryside around here, the key is not talking to the uh, ignition box, which means it won't let it go any further than turning the key once. So I've just given it a wiggle and it's working again, so I'm hoping that that's fixed the problem. And also it needs a software update. So yeah guys, we're getting there, but you know, just hassle that you don't need. Ooh. Anyway, I'll catch up with you back on site. So Andy's done with the digger. The, uh, the task was just to get, get it level, roughly level, track it all in and ready to be rotivated at a later date and seeded. So that's what Andy's done. S scraped it all, leveled in these areas here, leveled in over here. So we'll have, a, we'll have a fan rake up and get all the loose. And then the customer's gonna hire a rotivator and uh, yeah, tickle it all up and seed it. Job for good one. Obviously we're getting there with the fence as well, but we'll get on with this. Uh, this front hole. I mean, the, the digger would fit out with the new gate in, because the new gate is 800 wide, and the digger goes down to 680. So that would fit, but we just thought it's safe. Sorry, get it out now. Yep, yep.
Right guys, uh, we're just finishing the last little panel out the back. Sam and Connor are yeah. getting the gate post and uh, gate hung here. We're going to leave quite a big gap underneath the gate uh, for hedgehog access, apparently. Uh, yes, yeah, so they want us to price up for this run, the fencing, which, I mean, doesn't look like the most fun fencing job. There's a lot of wall and a lot of roots. That's roots, that's roots for most people. Uh, yes, we're going to get this last little panel done and that up and then tidy up and we're done. We're out of here. Two days, bosh. So yes, round here is gate fabrication. So we're, Sam has expertly cut the gate down to size. We're now fitting what looks like the world's most complicated combination lock and the world's most expensive. Oh uh, yeah, that's diagnostics. <laughs> diagnostics on a fence gate. Yes, a fence gate. A fence gate. Uh, but this is lock. a code locks marine spec. Uh, combination lock and the reason we went for this one was because it's got a long throw it's got a long throw and lots and lots of bits so we need to work out how to do it Well, we've got the world's most complicated lock on, guys. We've got it on. And now it's got to hang it, get the sort of shutter in. Yeah. That is it, guys and girls, two days in and out. This is uh, fencing according to Dane's Low. A bit like according to Jim, if you've ever seen it. Have you ever seen it on TV, guys, according to Jim? I love it. I watched the whole series, love it. Uh, there's the fence. Beautiful. Level, step, two level, step, step. Very nice. So that is fencing. I mean, look at that line that line you can't really see it let me get you a better view of the line look at that line look beautiful that's fencing according according to us it's Dainslow styler you see a bit of concrete here and there I don't think we've done too bad Jack I mean the whole garden look where Jack's standing he's taking some pictures for our socials uh, the whole garden been sort of leveled uh, that way and then sloping down to the patio that way and a fence cleared fence up garden level two days and we we're out of here by three o'clock yesterday we didn't get here till 10 o'clock today so actually yeah one and three quarters one we have ended up with a bit of a nasty little bay here because this post is the post that goes that way to pick up the neighbor's fence so we ended up with a short bay there and a short bay here but yes We've tidied it up and made it look as good as we can. And I'm happy to pass this one off for you. Yeah, it's a good job, well done. Yeah, so we're loaded up at the front. That's gonna finish up with the customer. Give them our review link, because we like to give them a link to our review page. And get as many reviews as we can, you see. All helps the, uh, the business algorithm out here. Yeah, it's all cleared up. We've put on a lovely, lovely gate. Just been doing that for the last half hour or so. A nice gate, combination lock. Looks rather nice. Beautiful. Here, here 
There's Mork, Mork, Mindy, and Clowny. Clowny in the middle, all loaded up, look, ready to go home. So that's a wrap guys, we are clean, we are cleaned up, we are out, diggers on, stuff's on, chunky's in, we are off. We'll uh... Happy site, happy site is a clean site, we're all done for the week. Yes we are. That was a lovely little in and out quickie. It was a quickie, and now we're on to some block paving. Yeah, some particular coloured block paving, one we haven't done before. No, and I think, yeah, they're, the, I think they're the bigger blocks, aren't they? The heavy duty commercial size blocks. 60 mils. I think they're big, yeah. For a five ton camper van. Yeah, nothing on the Danes low spec, obviously. No, <laughs> not an 18 ton camper van. That's a point, it's four o'clock. We haven't we need heard to find yet. Out what's going on. Yes, we'll, we're we'll done. come back to you in 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay, guys, well, we'll see you, as they say, on the next one. Ciao. Ciao, Bella. Sam's, Sam's, a, bit, Sam's a bit happy I now. I've got to tell Chunky, mate. Chunky! 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 Guess what, mate? Campers pass, mate. Straight through, mate. Bosh, bosh. Now, you drive carefully now you're so excited. That's past, mate. Wall up. Wall up. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone, the camper pass. Oh, all right. Now the floor we're so goes. excited. We're so excited. Oh, Jack, I've got my belt on. Yeah. Because we're not I'm on private roads. No. Oh, I am. This side's private. Oh, I could have killed us all. Uh, it's, it actually makes up for Sam's bit of a disappointment earlier. Sam, uh, yeah. Sam, What's do you want to tell them? Do you want to tell them? Yeah, what happened was, guys, my glorious stuff that I put into auction. Look at them three dogs, look. Look, show the viewers. Oh, and isn't that lovely? Look, all just sitting there patiently. What a lovely bunch of dogs. Uh, yeah, my stuff that I put into auction, all that real good high-end gear, I think the reserves were too high, I'm honest. <laughs> That's what it uh, was, It's none of it sold. Mm. But our trailer did. Yeah, the Daneslow trailer we put in sold. So the trailer we bought off Mr. Bort would actually only cost us a grand now. Yeah, lovely. I'm buzzing, mate. Like, straight through, mate. Means I, that means I can tax it now, I can insure it. You can literally it, go away. Uh, like if you had the cash funds, you could literally go away this weekend. That's just amazing, isn't it? Uh, yes, so we're going to head back. Right, can you ring Luke down on that, on that, on that basis? Uh, I can ring Luke, I don't know how he's going to help, but I'll ring Jack as well. Jack? <laughs> uh, Luke's our finance manager. Yeah, yeah Luke's finance, Jack's insurance. Yeah, ring Jack. Yeah, I'll ring Jack and see what he's saying. See if I can get it set up for the end of the month, mate. What? what? Hi, hi. Switch off the tone. When you're done, this is a hash, message for the struggle. Uh, Christopher, hi Chris, this is Sam from D to the L to the L to the D Weekly, uh, haulageandgramworks.com. Hope you are all well at your end. Uh, just thought I'd ring you and let you know, mate, that the uh, camper flew through its test, mate. Yeah, it did. It flew through its test. So she is on the road, mate, ready for the end of the month. Buzzing is not the word. But uh, let me know, mate, when you've uh, listened to this long-winded uh, voicemail, and we will catch up soon. Ciao, ciao for now. Hype, hype. Hype, hype, ting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lovely little message for the struggler there. Is it an Audi back there? We're back to the yard, guys. Back to the yard. I've got some things to add to that list. What is this now? What's this? Is this all? Is all? Is this all the loads that Harrington had this morning? We've got things to add to this list. This list is huge. It's not getting any smaller. <laughs> if I'm honest, I'm panicking no, it is. about it. Friends, Morgan. All right, done. Yeah, Lovely. Yeah. Andy's in for Andy. Yeah, size, one ton digger, done. Yeah, but then he's having an extra day and we've got to do a grab Friday, grab next week. Rob Davies. Rob Davies, who's on the Baz Kenton Friday. Invoices. Uh, collect invoices and signage. Right, so who's, who's having what? Garden Designs. Garden Designs having the one tonner for an extra day, so Friday, so I'll charge him the extra. Uh, and... Extra. 
Uh, I'm going to stop filming because this is boring. We're having a bit of a gather. Look, team gather. Team gather around the board. The board of life. There's a lot of things on this board and they keep getting more and more, which is a good thing because it means that we're selling more services and delivering more work. Uh, but it does mean that we've got less and less time. Uh, mm. I'm telling you, we can't do cash for first time. This is how we feel. Monday to Friday. He wrote Struggle. that on Friday, he did. Yeah. That's very nice of him to jot on our board. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Okay. Goodbye. Ah, oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> You are joining us on a Thursday morning. Thursday morning, and it's all go, go to the go. We finished that fencing job yesterday. All done, tickety booed, invoiced, bosh. We have got an outrageous amount of deliveries and plant, and it's just, it's going mental. And we've also started a new job. I must say, we've started it. We're starting a new job. We're on a block paved driveway, suitable for a five and a half ton camper van. Obviously not the same size as Sam's, it's 18 tonne, but it's a big camper van. So Andy and Connor are there today clearing. So they're going to take the three tonner, because it's all we've got. Everything else is out, uh, which means it's going to go in the lovely new tri-axle trailer. Look at that. So yes, they're taking the, the three tonner and they're going to get the site cleared. We'll obviously show you around. Chunky is Cavanum. Connor's up there loading up Trev, uh, a local customer who collected some sand. And I've got to take this out to another farm, a bit of ballast. And then we've got us. Uh, hello there, good morning. Good hello. Morning. I was just telling everyone what's going on, mate. Yeah, you tell them how I was an hour late. Uh, Sam was late this morning. You're hearing it's more. Rare. No, it's not. It's <laughs> becoming more common. I was trying to downplay You're it, You're hearing more and more on the camera how I'm late every day. Honestly, I'm waking up in agony, guys. That's because he was up so late working on the camper van. I woke up last oh, morning. Oh, no, he wasn't. No, it passed, though. <laughs> I woke up this morning, honestly, my head, so heavy. It's like someone was sitting on it. Really? Yeah, it's like I had a, 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 a an oompa she? on my head. What? That's what, what I had. <laughs> and I thought, oh. oh. Here's Connor May. Connor May. You happy today? You've got two fake. Bonjour, mate. Or a gel. Uh, clove oil, I hear. Uh, so, yeah, they're going to get loaded up. Uh, I'm going to take this ballast. And... Well, if you tip that when you come, come straight back here, we'll yeah. load these on. Yeah. So they can keep the transit there. Yeah. The yeah, lovely. That sounds like a plan. That sounds like a plan. Uh, me and Sam have spent the morning in the office just trying to get stuff sorted. It's relentless, mate. Relentless. Mate. Mate, mate. 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 Mate, it is it's actually, relentless. It, it, I sort of smile then. I mean, it's, uh, I'd like to say it's getting too much, but we're, we're, it's, we're in this game. Exactly, more, mate. That's what we're, what we're here for. We're in the thick of it. So, yes, I'm going to take this ballast and then I'll be back. And, uh, yes. Good <laughs> Chunky! He's under the rabbit jack, isn't he? He's ready to beat mate. Chunky yeah, is back. Beetroot, Chunky's back from his uh, morning okay, jaunt the, over to Cavanum. What's the problem with pit then? Are they? On the first row, go down it. Well, you so, you're you're privileged, mate. They say that it's Gary coming in, but we'll let him go down yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. Experience, well, fine, experience. I mean, do you want that heat? What, at the end where we tipped, at the end of that concrete down there? That's yeah, all gone, is it? It's all gone. So it's all down that pit. He's made a track. He loves it, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, he's, a, he's Europe's best lorry driver. He is. Chuck a Tim, mate. Yeah, Chuck a Tim, mate. Nothing on Chunky, mate. <laughs> I'll tell you where it's wet. Yeah, I bet it'll be horrible when it gets wet. And they put any surface on it, or is it just dirt? It's hard. Yeah. Just hard. Sorry, that doesn't explain what you're Yeah, <laughs> it's just hard. Well, you know, Chunky, relax, mate. Put your feet up. Since, yeah, Chunky's having a break, uh, having a bit of a rest, driver break. And I'm going to put the TV on, a bit of heartbeat. And we're going to meet him at another grab for us to load up for him. And then he's going to run another load into Cavanum. Yep, yep.
So this gentleman just bought this house. He's got a five and a half ton camper van that he wants to park in his garden, out the way of his main drive. So we are gonna cut this round here, out into the garden there. So we're gonna cut a straight line along here with a new run of echoes into a soak away. Block pave this side with brindle, no, with, is it brindle this side and yellow that side? No, yellow this side, autumn gold, autumn gold this side, 60 mil blocks, big old blocks. And then brindle, standard size blocks that side of the fence line. Uh, we've got to come down quite a bit on levels and we've got a slope. So we've got a slope up following the driveway to there and then slope away from the driveway back that way. There's no, we don't want any water going through the garage. And yes, we're leaving the areas round the drive, just lightly graded uh, to be retained at a later date. And that's the job guys, bit of block paving, get it all cleared, get it grabbed away from here with our lovely boards, but grabbing off. Yes, yes. What more can I say? Other oh, than let's go, let's keep going. Right, so we left those guys uh, at site. Me and Sam are going to do loads of bits today, and one of those bits is come pick up some printing. So this is our new double-sided carbon copy invoice books for the yard. Uh, I haven't seen them yet, so let's see how we get on. Right, so these are the invoice books. Oh, hey, look at that bad boy. Carbon copy. Oh, and it's a folding carbon copy as well. Oh yes. Look, these will be our. This is our. These will be our first uh, yard invoices. So look, whoever gets invoice DL 0001 maybe they get a free hat. Whoever makes the first purchase with a paper invoice. Oh, awesome! They look really good. Yeah, nice. Right, and now it's an even more exciting collection and that is all of our yard signage uh, it's gonna look smart guys hi <laughs> if we ever finish it right hey ho on we go so we're here guys stylized spay graphics there's the team look hard at work <laughs> look at these look, look bosh proper professional signage we've got a lot of it as well yeah. Hi, mate. I, I encourage <laughs> <laughs> just uh, getting wrapped in a bit of bubble wrap well I like your underlit table it's nice isn't it that's good what does that help you do? Well, so you can see through the vinyls and the backing, see if the line is up. And when you're clamping it, so if you've got a big sheet, yeah. rather than doing like a little squeegee bit at a time, that goes down on a roller. Oh, so you can literally yeah. stick the whole yeah. thing down? That goes down, then you roll it along. Look at that, all the gear. <laughs> Some idea, yeah. No, quite a lot of idea, I think. Take this, if you're going to mount, how do you mount those? Yeah. Just, that's just back in just peel straight off but we'll see yeah so we'll probably get some black capped yeah yeah we've got loads of pre-drill them or yeah if, you, if they're going oh, yeah, yeah. catch that chris yes, cheers know. buddy like comment and subscribe <laughs> <laughs> yes yep yep they're a good old bunch of boys so they even sorted me out with loads of black screw tops so you put them on the top of the fixings so they can't see them i'm loaded up with signage i am all right back to the yard 
heading back to the yard, I saw uh, saw a bit of Dane's low actions. So I thought I'd give it. I've got to stop and give it a filming. There's a secret chunk here, no chunky. Should we explain the struggle that we had? Yeah, that's a good idea. We haven't done it yet. Yeah, we haven't. So, you will know that the, the, the lorry itself was an ex-fire truck. Not the one with all the hoses and ladders and stuff, but a, a service on scene, like a, a scene vehicle. A response vehicle, so it had all the, the breathing apparatus and it had a forklift, all the cutting gear. Generators. So Generators. So when there's a big crash or fire, that's what turns up and that's the one that supports the whole fleet. So on the logbook, it's down as a fire truck engine yeah fire engine down's a fire engine so in order to get a camper van converted or any sort of van or vehicle converted you have to fall into seven different categories might be wrong might be six might be five but i think it's seven seven different categories of vehicle type body type or vehicle type now everything else you can think of is on there box van transit van what else? Other, uh, other ambulance. Um, yeah, loot and vans. Loot and vans. All them sorts of body types. But the one that isn't on that list is a fire truck or fire engine, which is ridiculous because it's just a box. It's a glorified box van. Why well, do look really pale? I suppose that. the reason is, is because most fire engines are <sighs> fire appliances, in which case they're just a big water tank and actually you, there's no way to convert them. Yeah, so DVLA you just see it as a fire engine. They don't realise it's just literally an empty box lorry. So what we've done, I couldn't MOT it as a camper, because it's not a camper, which means it's got to go through the MOT as a normal lorry, which means it's got to weigh in total 18 tonne for the brake test. Now there's no way on earth that's going to weigh 18 tonne in total, because at the minute it weighs, what is that, 8? Yeah, 8 or 9 tonne. And with all the stuff I put in, probably nine ton max. But there's no way to fit another nine ton in there. No, even if it was a, even if it, I don't know how the fire service would have put another nine ton in there because it was all wrapped out. You'd need nine full maybe, IBCs of water. Yeah, maybe MOTs are different for the for the uh, fire services. Service. Yeah, maybe. Not sure, but anyway, we couldn't we couldn't fit any other weight in there. So we sent it in on the hope that they can see it's being converted to a camper. It's got to legally be converted to a camper, and they. MOT on the on the use on the use yeah, yeah. On the available use <clears throat> there must be other vehicles capable of carrying 18 ton that, that potentially have some sort of plant attached to it so the generators or the crushers that when they're normally running you can't you can't fit that much weight on them because they're a processing system so right? the MOT was a yeah. struggle so we got it booked in and just thought right we'll wing it and see what happens now the next struggle is getting it changed from a fire truck to a camper so the only route we can think of going down is getting it changed on the logbook from a fire engine to a box van. van. Once the logbook comes back as a box van, hopefully we can then go down the route of changing it to a camper van. Now, the, pit, the, 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 the changeover from fire truck to box van uh, could be quite difficult on its own right because they, want, they might want it to get inspected by the DVLA. Or the, uh, the Bosa. Bosa, yeah. To he say this so. is just a standard box van, which is ridiculous because there's picture evidence of it just being an empty box. But there is potential that it's a very easy change and it's simply just you write it on the, your, your logbook, send it off. Which and we've they done. Send it back. Hope, so, so we're still in the process of waiting for that to come back. Now then, once that comes back as a box van, the next stage is to apply to change it from a box van to a camper. Now, there are certain criteria yeah. that you have to fall into to make it a camper there's a, a list of uh, several list of requirements different yeah. requirements things like it needs to have at least two windows on one side it needs to have cooking apparatus in it at least two hobs it needs to have a separate door other than the drivers and the passenger door it needs to have some sort of graphics down the side some wavy, fancy lines to define it from other vehicles. Yeah, it has to look like a camper van in traffic. Yes, so I'm on the I'm on the forums on Facebook, the camper van forums and all that, self-build campers. And some poor bugger, I don't know what his name is, I'll have to find him, but I fell feel for the bloke. He spent months and months and months converting this van. He put pictures of it up 
uh, sent all the photographic evidence and the timeline to the DVLA or Vosa, whoever it is, uh, to get it changed over, ticked all their boxes, literally ticked all their boxes and supported it with a photo to get it changed to a camper. And then the decision came back, and apparently I've heard you get one shot at this. If, if you don't get it done in the first time, you can't apply again. They won't retail, they won't. They won't do it, apparently. I need to double check that information, I might be wrong, but I think if you don't get it in the first run, then uh, you can't reapply. Yeah, so anyway, I'm, sure, I'm sure we'd get around that, because we'd just get a new, you get a new private plate on it. Yeah, and then try change again. the vehicle. Yeah. So he, anyway, he ticked all the boxes, done everything by the book, sent them photographic evidence, and some bugger, some high class anchor at the uh, Vosa sat there with his pen going through this application and refused it on the vice of uh, on the guys what's the word jack we just refused it you know, i was too early to be thinking uh he refused it because it's deemed that it wouldn't look like a camper van at a set of traffic lights in traffic if he was stopped in traffic the police or whoever couldn't tell that that was a camper van which is ridiculous. Yeah, and also a problem that Sam's going to have unless he changes the colour, because it looks like... A post I, Yeah, I thought it was a post office lorry when I first saw it. I, you know, when I followed it to the MIT station, it looked like a post office lorry. I mean, eventually I'm going to get it painted. But anyway, back to what we were saying about the, the, the application. You have to fall into all these different categories. You have to meet all these different agendas and then send off to get your thing. So that's what we're going to do once it's back from its MOT. Oh, do they not physically inspect? No. Photoshop. Yes, Photoshop <laughs> the life out of it. Yeah. So once it's back from its MOT, if it passes, we're then going to start the ball rolling on, hopefully getting the logbook back as a box van and then changing over to a camper. Well, it should be back any time now, shouldn't it? And the, yeah. And the other problem we've had is because it's not a camper van yet, it's a, a, a lorry. Yeah, a we've either got to run it on a an operator's license, which means running it on the company operator's license, which means six weekly inspections, costly, money, money, money. Plus it means that the private use vehicle has a massive impact on our own license. Yeah. Because if Sam, outside of work, did something he shouldn't, not that he ever does, he's uh, compliant through and through, uh, then it would reflect on our O license as our, our business. Yeah, and I don't want to run it on the O license because it means I've got to adhere by all the rules, which means whoever want to drive to like Cornwall, I've got to stick to the four and a half hour driving, have a break, and all this, which I ain't doing. Yeah, because it's private use. It, the, the the rules are that if it's not for commercial use, not for commercial purposes, then the rules don't apply. Yeah, no photograph, no 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 driver's time, no inspections, none of this, none but, of this but stuff. Try tr you try and insure a vehicle, a lorry under private use yeah, you just can't do it. that isn't a camper or classed as a camper you, we you can't, can't do it well we can't seem to find an insurance broker that offer private use lorry policies <clears throat> but we have found a broker who we use who our fleet policy is with uh, they will insure it through one of their third parties but only under if... the proviso that within six months it's converted so it will be insured from day one private use under the proviso that within six months it's I converted. I send them evidence that it's on the logbook as a camper. As a camper. So what we're going to do is if it passes today, we're going to tax it by the end of the month. We're going to insure it for the day before the truck fest. We're going to get it up to truck fest, get it back. And then I've got six months to get it on the logbook as a camper. If in five months and 29 days, it's not converted as a camper, I'll just cancel the policy. Yeah, simple. Isn't it? Yeah, it's simple. But yeah, hopefully, but honestly, it's been building the thing like you wouldn't believe it but building the thing has been the easiest thing in all this process isn't it all the red tape and the leg legislations behind this is what's been holding us up yeah there, must, must, it. there must be some sort of legacy -ish, legacy reason why they have it it's so draconian but i want it on the logbook as a camper van one because it'll be worth more money when i come to sell it if i ever do sell it two it's easier for me across the board to get it on the road, insured, get it about, have fun, do what I want to do. Yeah. And that's about it, really. But there's been some real struggles with uh, DVLA and Vosa regarding this lorry. Yeah. 
I mean, there's other things like the, the other two categories that are similar in size, large horse boxes, you can get any size horse box, and race trucks. Yeah. Both of those are private use, but of course the insurers a specific race truck only policy so you have to be in transit from your yard to a racetrack and the horses it has to be able to carry horses yeah so um, if i do for you you saw in last week's video with the horses we saw if i do end up buying one of them he just buys a, a vol a vol a foal a foal not a vol a vol's a water rat <laughs> a foal and then it will fit in there yes and when it gets too big you have you to buy, swap, swap it out it and yeah. make some money on the yeah, horse exactly and part buy another foal part x yes so we might go into horse uh, sales yes. in, Sam, order, in order to get the camper on the Sam road. Sam and Steph have got to holiday with the horse every time. <laughs> but it solves your transport issue when you're anywhere. Yes, no, I just get a trailer on the back and call it in exactly. there. Exactly, yeah, just get a saddle. No, I just get a pony. Then you and Steph can roll into town. <laughs> I get a Shetland pony. <laughs> Literally, I can sit on the sofa, mate. I might fit in the back box. <laughs> a Shetland pony. <laughs> <laughs> or what they called them uh, tiny, tiny foals. Yeah. They're the ones that don't mini grow. Miniatures. A miniature horse. Yeah. So what I'll class it as a, as, a, as a horse box. A horse box. Get a miniature horse, and then I can go where I want. Yeah. Yeah. No, we'll get it sorted. We've got to get it done, because we've got truck first coming up. It's getting the truck first either way. If we have to push it there, it's getting there. Uh, and then after that, it'll just be nice to have it on the road full time. It'd be lovely. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at with it. It's been a long, drawn out process of paperwork. But then we've still got the hardest bit to come yet. What's that? Changed it to a camper. What's that, mate? What's that, what was mate? that mate? mate? Connor, mate, was here at 20 to 6 this morning. Yeah, it's because his missus isn't about. Yeah. She's done a runner, isn't she? <laughs> okay, bye now. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Cheers. Bye. Right, I've, I've got Rebecca again. Uh, if you haven't seen it already, go and watch the Strugglers interview on. What's it called? I don't know. Eclipse. Eclipse. Eclipse Diagnostics talk show. Uh. Yeah, Eclipse Diagnostics. Eclipse Diagnostics talk show. Give them a like and give them a subscribe because they look like a little bit of a young channel, new like us. Uh, they now know of the Danes Low Boys, don't they? They do because Chris mentioned it. They now know about me and Jack. So Eclipse Diagnostics, uh, if you want to get us on there, mate, we'll, we'll, we'll be happy to come and give you an interview, won't we? Yeah, we'll, we'll It'll be a right laugh. I'm not sure if it'll be a PG interview, but it'll be a laugh either way. So if you're watching this, chaps, hit us up. Uh, Chris, thank you for mentioning us as ever, mate. It really does well for the algorithm, doesn't it? Yeah, it's Chris is our biggest algorithm uh, benefactor. He is. Yeah, it's all about the algorithm these days. I mean, it's a word I never knew six months ago, and it's just it's working wonders. <laughs> Isn't it, Jack? It's working wonders. So uh, hit us up, uh, Clips Diagnostics. Also, uh, yeah, I don't know, just also yes. Bye-bye. What -bye. team? We have had a quick coffee. We don't get a chance. I haven't spoken to him for a few days, Jack. I've, just been, I've been so flat out, mate. Flat out. We, we're, our feet aren't touching the floor at present. Uh, but it's good. Busy is good. Uh, we're going to take... I'm going to take Sam to pick up the camper. I'm going to do a delivery on the way. And we've also got some nice stickers to go on our big oh, yes, we signs. So we've got to do that. I've got to jump a ditch again. Uh, so I'm going to go... We're going to get these boards off. And then load up. And, yeah, just try and get a chance to breathe at some point. So first stop on our little outing is our new, uh, what do you want me to do, pull it? Pull it. I don't know, I'm not having a long bottle, it's on a bottle. Uh, these are stickers, I hope they're stickers. So I'll pull it. Quite a smell. Freshly printed, mate. Oh my God, it's so long. But also, uh, these are, these are stickers to go on our big signage that we've got dotted around the countryside. And I'm going to stop filming now so I can ravel these up to carry them out over there so we can stick them on the sign. Okay, these are the signs. You will have seen them before. These are on the, this is the main road into Haverhill. And this is what it's been saying for about six months. And this is what it says now. Bosch. Look at that. I'm going to take a picture. Bosh! Sam just banged his leg. 
And now I'm going to try and get down here without getting stung. Hey! Ah, oh, Sam's going to film me now, isn't he? But luckily, the ditch is empty. Come on, Jack! The big leap! <laughs> yep. <laughs> I like the way you saved the paper. Have <laughs> oh. you got that on film? So we're here guys, just doing a bit of a hardcore grab for the team. So Connor, Connor has moved all of that in wheelbarrows. Look, Connor has moved all of that. Apparently he did a time lapse. I think he's earned another kebab tonight. They're just uh, doing some service exploration, trying to find the gas line. Um, yes, and we've got, we're down to height at the back here now, I think. So the customer in question wants us just to leave this just slightly graded and he's going to sort it out a later date. He doesn't know what he wants to do with it yet. So lightly graded, we've got our height set. Uh, yeah, we're falling away. Lovely. And then we've just got to take dirt away tomorrow. Hi guys, it's been one of them days today. I don't know if I've done a lot of filming or not because we've been here, there, and everywhere. We've done a lot though. Yeah, we have done a lot. Plus, we have done a lot. Plus, there more stuff coming. We've got so many deliveries and plant out tomorrow. Tomorrow, where every single bit of plant will be out other than one skip loader. And what we thought we were going to do is quickly, well, now this is back, is see uh, Sam's lighting mast. I've never seen it fully up. I don't think Sandy ran it fully up, so we're going to see how, how high the lighting mast goes. And stuck up there, is it? I don't know, mate. That's tall, isn't it? A oh, truck fest, mate. You've got to get LED, either change of LEDs or put bulbs in. Right guys, Thursday done. What is it? Thursday's done. Is it done? Done. D to the O to the A to the E. Done. That's me, that's me. Chunk. Hey. There's Chunky just washing his hands. Jack, you haven't done very well today. No, I haven't. I've oh my time. God, that's it look. 1pm you got to. Yeah. That's not uh, good. Right, I'm going home. Where are you going mate? Home oh, right. to have some look food. Look at it out here. Isn't it beautiful? It's glorious. Right. Have fun. Are you in a camper van, eh? I'm going to do a camper van. Okay, have fun. We'll have a bit of a gather in the morning. Get everyone round. Got what to do. Okay, bye bye. Yep, yep. No, it'll just be me and you going through the list. Oh, yeah, yep, yep. <laughs> oh, I've got it on cinematic mode. It's Friday. It's here. It's finally come. It's the day before the weekend, and it's fry to the day. Ooh. That is our new eco, eco dumper. Chucking out some plumage. This is Jack. I'm on cinematic mode, Jack. Oh, you can't see me yet. Can you see? Yeah. Uh, just telling the folks it's Friday. Man, we've got a lot to do, haven't we? Yes. We've got to go hauling diggers, dumpers, machines, getting sites set up, all that sort of jazz. Oh, and all this on here. I'm going to turn it back onto normal mode because you can't see what's going on in the in the uh, foreground. No, the background. Background. There's a lot to do. So 
I've got some ballast on. Sam's getting the micro on. Chung has got the dumper on. Have you told them where everything's going, Sam? I'm on high. I'm on high. Well, other than that, that's going to Andy and Connor. Because uh, Connor moved all that hog risk there by hand and he thought he'd move it with, move the dirt with a dumper the 18 feet. Uh, but if it speeds up, it speeds up. We've got so much on, guys. Now we feel we're going. Yeah, you won't have seen that, but Sam built a little micro trailer out of an old roller trailer. Yeah, no, as in new viewers might not have seen it. Uh, so yeah, overkill. But here, old free, free axle trailer with a micro on it. Anyway, I'm going to drop this ballast off and I'll check in with you guys. I'll let Connor's load somewhere else up as well. Lovely, lovely busy morning in the Daneslow farmyard. Not the Daneslow yard. Well, we hope they could be there later putting the signs up. Watch this space. How much quicker it is with a skip loader. Right, Connor took all afternoon, fair play to him, moved all that hardcore. And already like the, the dumper's been there for all of 20 minutes. And uh, it's already almost it all. But I, I'm gonna take a couple of couple of scoops back on this because I'm going past so while I'm back empty. Yes. So a good haulier you see, never running empty. When it makes sense. There's Chucky! Chucky! Yep, yep. Eagle Eye viewers would have spotted that the number plate changed. That's because I just spotted that Chunky still had the transit number plate on the trailer. So I've swapped them over. Compliance is key. We've had, I've had two loads out of where Connor and Andy are working. Just got my second one on. Jack's been on back loads all day from here. I've had a grab out, out of Havel this morning. That's honestly, it's chaos. One of the roads, the, the, the main road into our old yard is shut. So we're all going through the country lanes. No bugger knows where they're going, what they're doing. It's just chaos. But you join me on a sunny Friday. Sunny as anything, it's lovely, it really is nice. Connor's working his nuts off, which is nice, and he's doing a bit of digger work. Everyone is just busy, busy, busy. Uh, it's, it's all going like clockwork at the moment. It's good. It's a good Friday. Um, yeah, it's just flat out. Flat out. But the old grab's doing well. Good old girl. So I'm going to get back, tip this off, get back for one more. I'll be free out of there today now. What's this soil coming out? Jack's done about six. It's chaos. It's just everything is mental. We had three machines go out this morning, two to pick up. Deliveries, Jack's been out and done deliveries as well. So busy, you don't know which way to turn. But when you're busy, it means that it's, everything's picking up. So I'll catch you back at the old yard. Yes, yes, I will. Goodbye. How's you been, Jack? Uh, hauling ass. Hauling. Turn, turn and burn. Oh, you've been burning a bit of other way. I've been burning rubber and clutches. <laughs> and clutches. <laughs> <laughs> And right. brakes, Mr. B said, oh, Mr. B said, I've only been driving hard, Jack, but I think you've got a bit of brake smell. So where well, yeah, this eight tonner got on the back. Yeah, Jack's turned the transit into the, a seven and a half tonner. The brakes are only built for three and a half. <laughs> we're just on site watching Andy, though. That's what we're doing. We're sitting on a bit of nice chairs, oh, isn't we, Jack? on my gut. There's no gut there, look. look There's no that. gut, mate. That. Mm. That's pure British beef, mate. <laughs> isn't it? 
That's all bought and paid oh, for. British beef. Yeah. Yeah, on finance. <laughs> yeah, he's got it on tick. <laughs> yeah, I've got it on tick, mate. Uh, I don't know where Connor's gone. He ain't done a lot, has he? I tell you, the customer, the customer pulled me to one side and said, You've got a good boy, is it, You've got a good boy in Connor. Did he? He said, My son couldn't believe the amount of hardcore he moved just then one wheelbarrow. Yeah, we don't give him enough juice. I do, <laughs> I do, uh, I do give him a hard time, but that's how I was brought up, you see. I got a hard time from the people I work for. But look at me now, grafter. Right, you get taught by your elders, don't you? Yeah. Giving, giving a young lad a hard time is only going to serve him better later in life. Uh, I, I don't disagree with that. Exactly, you see. At least he's not at home on the Xbox. No, hey, Jack. Hey. Hey. I was. Mum said last night that she's making a new key rig and that she's going to be called, that's right, Jack. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> in it, Jack. <laughs> that's right, Jack. In me, Jack. Yeah. Army, Jack. Yeah. Uh, go on the website now, because we've got stuff listed on there for sale. So if you want any merch, the only small merch. Uh, key rings and stickers. Key rings and stickers. There are going to be a limited run of socks. Yeah, and they're going to be called, because Nan has bagged what she wants them to be called. I haven't told Jack yet, but she'd like them to be called Nan Socks. I'm, I'm happy with that. So we're going to put DL Nan socks. Yeah, orange and black. So little shout out to her, Nana. Well done. Jack's because they're so rare and limited, we have to sort out some sort of price pricing on them to make sure that only and the creme de la creme. Yeah, yeah. It's not this local drop here. Me and Jack have been bought a nice cup of coffee, but Connor and Andy haven't because they're not allowed to stop till one o'clock. He said. He said. Uh, he says I didn't make the boys one because it's not their lunch time. <laughs> shh, Jack. Shh. Andy, we haven't got a coffee, we're, we're drinking soup. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying was, uh, we're gonna class them as Nan socks. We're gonna sort out a price range, but what you must, view, what you viewers must understand is because they're knitted, they're stretchy, so they're for all sizes. Yeah. There's not one common size. They're not a large, they're not a small, they're, you know. They're, they're, yeah, they're, they will mold to your feet, but then you can't wear them without shoes because they just fall off your feet. Yeah, or well, you've got, they have got tie bands at the time, haven't they? Have you, they? As you started putting the tie bands in. I've, she might have, I might have lost mine. <laughs> oh dear. Well, they are coming to the uh, to the website. So if you'd like a pair of Nan socks, go on the website and have a look. Yeah, because by this time they'll be up, wouldn't they? Yeah, I mean we'll have to put we'll have to put on the website how much stock we've got. When they're sold, when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, they've got to be knitted to order. Oh, knitted so, to order. Well, we, we'll sell what we've got. All oh, right. She'll keep yeah, us. Yeah, but what if we get? I mean. I'm, I know we're not going to. What if, what if 200 people bought us up? Well, then we employ some more knitters. <laughs> but that, they were, we've got a, a good 20 pairs, I reckon. She's going to keep knitting them, bless her heart. Um, and once we run out, we might even just run a limited stock. And once they're gone, they're gone. A bit like Lidl or Aldi. It's very much like a left one. Yeah, a bit like Lidl or Aldi. Mm. Once they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, the middle aisle. The middle yeah. aisle. So go on the website and have a look, guys. See what you think, and we'll go from there. But uh, what you're doing is you're supporting local if you buy the socks. Not local to most of you, but no. local to us. Yeah, you're, you're making our dreams come through. Love you all. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> uh, you like lemons? Uh, dodgy bags and all sorts. You like lemons? Lemons? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get a house in Devon, drink cider from a lemon. That's it, mate. What they say? Yeah, it's all goo go go here, isn't it? Goo 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 goo. I tell you, I was telling the guys earlier that today's gone like clockwork, mate. I wasn't expecting to spend the it day in the grab. It didn't feel like it was going like clockwork because we had so much to do, uh, and we're lucky we've got two. We pulled a couple of days forward on this job actually because oh no, it we would have been tight if we hadn't done it. I don't think we would have done it. Nah, who would have been in? We uh, this morning we had like four machines out and in, grabs, deliveries, and everyone just. It, literally me Chunky and Jack just went our own separate ways mate yeah and we, went and we, got, in the we got it done and Andy and Connor been cracking on here um yeah we're trying to we are we are talking about expansion as well as yeah, in we, the well, team yeah when we get this yard open we're going to lose Chunky full time yeah we're going to sell more adverts which means more deliveries but we're a man down yeah and you won't see uh, well you won't see enough of what Chunky does behind the scenes it's crazy what he does. What we need is a, is another of Chunky. Yeah. But they don't exist, unfortunately. Well, you've got the younger version here, but he's busy all the time. No, we need another Chunky, but yeah, we might have a uh, we might have another man, man coming on board, hopefully, yeah, I mean, if it goes some well. Some might say similar to Chunky in many ways. Yeah, really genetically. similar. Genetically, yeah. No, it'd be good. If we can get him on board, then my Christ is going to work. It's going to be really good. We'll explain more near the time.
So we're cracking on. Uh, one thing that Danes like haven't got, we've got all the machines, we've got diggers and grab lorries and stuff. One thing we haven't got yet is our own ice cream van. <laughs> What have you gone for, Connor? Apple cider refresher. An apple cider refresher. Good old boy. Cheers, mate. I've got him coming here Monday, boy. <laughs> Sam's booked him in for Monday. So we're just digging out for a soak away. So we're putting a line of Akos in, straight line from Akos from here to the garage. So we're gonna cut a line and we're putting a soak away in here for the Akos to pick up. The big part of the driveway is gonna slope back, but this, this bit here, uh, it wants to catch the, catch the rainwater so there's no additional going onto the road, which is a, a good common sense thing to do. Right guys, we're pretty much done on site for today. There's not much else we can get on with. Uh, it's all. It's all down to height, cut the line. Bosh. It's not job and not con, mate. We've got plenty to get on with. Soakaway holes dug, ready for the end of the Akos. We're going to cover it with some boards for the weekend because that is prime. Postman nipping to the door, pulling in a big hole. Uh, yes, so ready for Akos and edging to commence Monday. We've got 20 ton of Type 1 MOT being delivered Monday morning straight to site. And uh, yeah. And we can crack on. So we're gonna have a quick tidy up and get back to site. No, nope, back to yard. Yeah, yep. Hey, we're hey. just talking about the first of June. The first of June's come around quick, isn't it, Jack? Yep, it is. First of June is coming around very quick. Um, How much have we got to do? Uh, a lot. How much have you got to do, Connor? Connor quite, stress enough. Quite, it's quite stressful. I've still it? got a lot of while to do. Yeah. Yep. What in your belly, mate? Yep. They want a bit more on the screen of you, Connor, mate. They ask, they keep asking in the comments. Are you reading the comments? No, they keep saying I'm poor, they keep saying poor Connor. I won't get it. Get what? I won't get screen. Are you getting it? Oh, screen. <laughs> screen what? Screen time. They won't get screen time. Nice smile though, look. Yeah, smile, yeah. Look at that, yeah. And then, and smile, smile then, guys. Yeah. Don't it's forget, don't forget to buy your legs key rings from the merch shop. Yeah, legs key rings. I tell you what, every legs key ring you buy, we'll get a smile out of Connor for you. Yeah. You know what, Connor? What? You know what this week's question is? Question of the week. You know what it is? How old are you? That's not much of a question, mate. Why is it? It's, it's not, mate. How's everyone going to know how old you are? No, it should have been, like, that is one, mate, first occupation. What, what was yours? Well, you got sacked from it. Yeah, which one? Uh, how many jobs has Colin been sacked from? <laughs> Maybe that's next week's question. Okay, guys, hey. we'll see you on the next one. I'll have to give him one of these. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. 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 We've got a bit of Asheville now. If you want to, go back and look at last week's video up here and then some previous videos over here. <laughs> isn't it, Jack? Yeah, it is, mate. That's a new key what, what I'll do is I'll uh, put that at the end of the video because otherwise everyone's just watched this intro and they've never left. Yeah, don't leave. <laughs> no, you're all still here because now this is at the end of the video, you see. Yeah, you've all so, been here. We've been yeah. this at the start. We're seeing you at yeah, the end. Yeah, so we're, we're still here. You're, you're still here, which is great. So go and check it all out. Yeah, all over the place. Yeah, check I'll it just, all out, I'll mate. Just dot them about. Dot them about. <laughs> give it a clap.